Oh, good afternoon everyone, Mr. Fetty here, and I know what you're thinking, uh, wait, are you still gonna, have, like, uh, take, like, a long break from all from your videos because of school and such? I was like, um, no, uh, I just got, like, extra few videos I'm just planning, like, pretty much put out for until the last, until the, the end of summer. So, and this is going to be one of them, and, uh, and I did the fanfic of, you know, uh, if you actually already watched that one fanfic, like, yesterday, which I uploaded at, which I actually made at night time, which is kind of like an awful time to just upload a damn video there in the uh, middle of the night, almost near the night, so, yeah. So, today, we're going to talk about the infamous person of the internet. Like YouTube, uh, Demir, Facebook, and Google. The name is R A L uh, P H I E Lumba freaking Ralphie. Before you guys say something like, uh, "Oh my God, he's gonna click a rage on this freaking Ralphie person. He's his friends gonna, his friends gonna put hate comments on you because." You from them because you, you just say that he's the worst person on the internet when he was the freaking Chris Chan and freaking Dark Side Bill. Oh my gosh! If I can say that, uh, I just gonna say that those three people, um, you talking about my viewers, uh, they're very infamous, you know, but you know, but they're like the three top, you know, sins of the internet, you know, and Ralphie's actually one of them. So, anywho, and for you viewers who's gonna ask you a lot of questions, I'll be like, please don't give me, like, please don't, give, don't, please don't, like, uh, tell me about, like, oh my gosh, you, you just gonna hate on that one person on the internet? Are you a freaking bully? I was like, no, I'm just trying to, t t to warn everyone about this damn clown that pretty much caused all these problems. Which, according to Corey, as I read, which Corey said, I had to warn people of that clown by listing the stuff on my paper that bastard just made. Before you, you people say like, uh, oh, oh my gosh, Rafi is just innocent. He didn't cause these problems. He's just not a freaking bully for everyone. He's just an innocent person. Good gosh, why am I actually use that one freaking care, uh, you know, Lonnie Lowly from Crash 4 as the viewers who are just acting panicking, you know, because Lonnie Lowly looks a little always panicking on something, and that's actually going to make sense for it. But enough of that. Let's talk about the problems with Ralphie. Let's go. Okay, the first. So, so, before you ask, who the heck is Ralphie? He's a Disney cringe lord who think he owns the company and treats his opinion as law. Seriously? Do you actually said you, you want to you treat your opinion as your as laws? Come on, opinions aren't even like laws, you know. They're just like uh trying to express yourself, you know, not just like use it for law, you know, for you know like oh you can't say that, oh you can't say that, oh you can't say that too. Ah! <sighs> okay, and another, so let's just talk about some stuff for him, which is, his videos are cringy and unfunny, didn't laugh. <sighs> Why do I have to bring up that one meme with Donkey Kong just dancing with the, the caption says, NOT FUNNY, DIDN'T LAUGH. <sighs> Seriously, am I had to like, make like a random dead meme, like one place and another? And unless all those freaking comments that just said, Oh my god, you just spread up a dead meme! You, you are, you're freaking crunchy! <sighs> okay, another thing he did is, he further ruined Disney's reputation, as if their reputation has already been ruined with their inbred remakes of classic anime films from the 90s, which, pretty much, it's the trend that started with Alice in Wonderland, and pretty much, like, Still continues up until Mulan. 
And I hope they freaking stop it after the the Cruella de Vil, uh, live ad, uh, movie, you know, the live action remake of 101 Dalmatians. Well, we already got one, which just came out in 1996, like, yeah, 1996, and its sequel came out in 2000, no, 1990, is it, I think it's 2000, yeah, 2000. Good grief, please, Disney, stop with these live action remakes, it's, what happened to you, like, what, what happened to my Disney, the Disney I know from my childhood, all the Disney movies I know from them before they went downhill around 2019 with that freaking Lion King remake, gosh dang it, but at least we have Pixar, which could have been a good thing, but I just hope they won't went downhill in that. Even Star Wars. Goddamn Star Wars has been ruined because of the sequel trilogy and the, the, and the decision of Disney and such. God damn it. What happened to my Star Wars, you know? Because the sequel trilogy are not good. Except for The Force Awakens, which it's good, you know, but, you know, it's no Vengeance or Empire Strikes Back good, but. Anywho. Next. There's something creepy again about, about it, so. Oh, wait. Is there, is there other stuff I can look at? Oh, never mind. He, which is, he made some girl n named Lady Audie to be his online video slave. Answer that, that scream from a yellow-headed scientist who's a rival against rival of the orange marsupial Bandicoot. My face, my face is always the same as you, Cortex. <sighs> Sorry, I say Cortex. Why the heck did Ralphie made this girl to be his slave? Come on, that felt wrong. Seriously, that felt wrong to make someone to be your slave person. That felt wrong, man. That felt wrong. Which, here's another one. He brought forth the crew of delusional main children and opinion badgers such as Ren the God of Humor, Richard Imaginator, Princess Twilight Sparkles, Sky Nation, and anyone else part of it. Because they can't handle criticism from those people who think, Oh please, make something original, you damn man children, you man babies, boo hoo hoo. <clears throat> oh, God damn it. And also, there's something worse than the whole slave girl thing. He drove a friend of a friend of Corey's who had to be a jester shipper who drove her to commit suicide for supporting Jelsa. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Why would you do this? Why would you do Drove that friend of a friend to Corey to commit suicide for supporting a non-canon shipping, which, no, that shipping, yeah, just as great is a better shipping than Rosa. Yeah, clap me, haters, just laugh at me, laugh at me, because I'm not a clown, I'm just trying to explain seriously about this damn clown. But, speaking of Jelsa, or, oh wait, as supposed to, for whole commit suicide for supporting Jelsa as opposed to him and her, because it has to be him with her. Like, come on, he's in his thirties and Elsa. Um, I think I don't know if he's in. Is Elsa's like in his in her twenties and I think in the Frozen movies. Don't know what's the what's his or uh, her canon a uh canon age. You know, yeah, I think it's still twenty. But come on, he's in his thirties and she's twenty. That didn't work. You had to date someone at the same age because it has to be, it has to work, you know? Like, why? But, speaking of that, he is to shape Chelsea until he wants Elsa to himself. What do you, what the hell? You're just a hypocrite for thinking you used to love Chelsea until you're just like, oh, Elsa is my girlfriend now. Screw that Jack Ross guy. Elsa is my girl. Just get the hell out of here, you damn Jack guarding the fun stuff. I said, shite! <sighs> Seriously, do I have the accent cuss? Damn it. But, here's another thing from him. He thought he was a, um, he was 
a unbeatable god, a deity who cannot be beaten, and he wants to be Thanos. Seriously? You're just a male children who think you're god. <sighs> you know what's the true god? Look at this! See these? These are true gods, not male children gods. These are true gods, not freaking Ralphie. <sighs> Cersei, he thinks he is an unbeatable god and he wants to be Thanos. Even through, he's just a man children version of Thanos. Yeah, I had to say it. He's, he's man children Thanos. Ah! But here's another thing from him. In his House of Mouse videos, he took over Mickey's role. You know, House of Mouse like a Mickey Mouse! Ho -ho! But when you do that, Ralphie, that's sort of creepy. But when Mickey actually did it, that's actually cute. That's actually cute, so yeah. Wait, wait, let's just give it a page. Hang on. Yeah, see? Which, it isn't cute when Ralphie just threw the Mickey Mouse thing and the House of Mouse stuff. It was creepy, you know. What Mickey Mouse does, it's cute. But what Ralphie did is creepy. But here it gets freaking worse because my blood pressure is freaking burning up like the fire up the oven is about to freaking shooting out flames. God damn it, my heart is on fire. Here it goes. He worships Slimmy Gomez and he wants to be his girlfriend, which he has celebrity worship syndrome. Yeah, just like that one, uh, I think I heard that in the one, that one video they talk about the, uh, that one person think that Natalie Portman is in love with him, where she just goes to Hollywood and trying to search for him, and search for her, sorry, and the cop was like, what the hell are you doing in goddamn Hollywood? Yeah, that's, that's uh, why I hate these type of people who has the celebrity worship syndrome, because I like certain celebrities, but I don't worship them like goddamn Ralphie right here. Ah. He won't get away from this. But here's another one from him. He he overreact to stupid things and reasons. Really, Ralphie, you overreact to something small, which might you know something stupid, something stupid like you know like uh you know like uh let me see uh, the whole you know I already mentioned about the Chelsea thing but you know the whole like uh people just don't like freaking uh. You know, Chicken Little, you know, you know Chicken Little's mediocre, but come on, Ralphie, just don't freaking bombard on people and say, Hey, stop hitting on Chicken Little, you bastards. I'm just gonna freaking uh, use my Infinity Gauntlet to stab you so you'll be disappeared. Like that. That's an example if someone actually didn't like his opinions. Like that. Hmm? And he won on his job. Really? Do you just, like, freaking, freaking whine about your damn job, you know? Because, come on. Trying to work at something for a job could have been rough, but come on, you don't want to be like, be, act like a freaking baby, you know? Huh? Huh? But, here's another fan that's felt stupid. He has, he complains he has no money for a new laptop and wastes his money for freaking Funko Pops. So come on, which, he should have used the money for save it, which he should have saved the money for bills. Not so damn Toys! These freaking toys! I just... Ah, oh, shit. Let me He just wastes his money over these stupid dead Funko Pops! Ah! God damn it. I feel angry to that he just wastes his money on Funko Pops, which he should have saved it for a freaking new laptop and bills. Ah! Next up... Clean up, because I have, like, a, a raging heart for me, because, you know... I felt <coughs> anger at some stupid, these type of people doing those damn actions, like Ralphie. But, yeah. Which, it says that he nearly committed suicide because of real life problems. Really? And even that you mentioned about, like, he's at the hospital and he's ne and about to end his life and, and his sister just wrote a journal of it, you know. Speaking of that, that uh, she got received calls from like DreamWorks, Warner Brothers, and Disney, and after every call, she freaking yell at them saying to screw off, because you know that felt wrong. That felt freaking horrible. You know, it's a horrible mistake. 
for just freaking uh for freaking screaming at those companies that say to oh come on this is my this is my stuff you're never gonna freaking copyright me you damn companies because I'm part of Ralphie in the Misfits Waha <laughs> Okay um I just gonna just, you know put this myself in this next up the reason he hates Jessa because he's a stupid purper who wants Elsa all turned to himself and think if anyone who shipped Elsa with anyone but other than him is an idiot who should commit suicide. <laughs> that freaking wrong. And I'm screaming like a banshee, you know, after reading this. And here's another thing. He's a pedophile. Yeah, that's that. Seriously. Seriously, do not, do not, like, date, like, freaking little, some, yeah, some teenagers because you're a pedophile. Seriously, you're a pedophile. Ah! Oh, seriously, why do I act like Shrek from the Super Mario Logan video of, you know, baby Shrek? And all? I'll just quote that. I don't know. I see some, some, like, a person who's actually, uh, the the bat the the pedo thing yeah now so <clears throat> here's another thing I just realized he made a day called Ralphie Legends Day on July 11th which is his birthday come on you can't make this stupid type of day which is actually around your birthday because if you want to make like a special holiday just you need some effort to celebrate that special day and not just some random crap that's will be on the same day as your birthday. <coughs> God. Ugh. Almost out of breath. Where is he? Did someone have some water? <sighs> Next. Okay. Now, so here's another thing from him. He made himself as the son of Hades and Melissa Fint, which should have made an OC as the son of those characters instead of himself. You know, like, was that... Was that necessary to just be like the son of of Hades and mess of it? What about your family? What about your father? What about your mother? Seriously, I just here's the I have my own family. I'm not raised by you know like uh I don't know a freaking uh, Jando and uh, Shinji's mother from Evangelion. I was like secretly the brother of Shinji. <laughs> and also, he's a hair for it. Yeah. He's like a stream hypocrite, like, you know, like, you know, like, if you actually seen, like, one of his videos, you know, like, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, like, he likes Jelsa and such, you know, but he's actually a hypocrite because, he, you know, he wants Jelsa to himself and have to explain about it. And also, it's get even worse. <clears throat> yeah, aka the cringe stuff. He has Photoshop versions of him and Elena Gomez all over his Google Plus page, his demon art, and all over his YouTube channel, which she'll be creep, which Shalima Golden could be creeped out if she saw one of his social media pages. What the hell, man? What the hell? Thirty. If Shalima Golden sees this, she'll just freaking barf out. Yeah, that's a good, that's gonna be a thing about it. She'll barf out from it. <coughs> Next. Now, so it gets get creepier. He obsessed with a character from the Loud House, Lenny Lau, which she's 16 and he's in his 30s. Yep. FBI, open up! No? No video clip? Huh, that seems like kind of surprising. FBI, open up! What the, what the, what the hell? Hey, hey, guys! Hey, come on, come on! I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying this for you guys! I just said it for the goddamn video. Come on! Stop! 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 20 minutes later. Good gosh, that's a freaking disaster. <coughs> okay. Enough of that. You know, that's uh, devil creepy if you date, like, a, if you have a 16 year old girl from a freaking Nickelodeon cartoon. You know, even people. Who has a session on Miko from Glitch Text? Will be will apologize on that. So yeah, there's another thing from him, according to to one of the people, according to the Insight Misfits group. 
If you say a negative pain on him, he went he went bombarded on it and he and he and he won't accept criticism because you know he's a whiny man children man child I'm saying it again I say it again but he accept your positive opinion on him which you know if you're just like if you're one of his fans um I can oh, I'm okay with it if you know don't say negative things and he'll just like freaking kick you out as a part of the misfits you know because you're a f you're just a rogue you know like uh the anti misfit like yeah. <clears throat> and also, let's see. Wait, that's it? It's almost done? Wow. But there's more of it. A, there's a user named Jessica Lopez and made a Jelsa a Ralsa video when Ralphie is about to quit YouTube, which sadly he stays thanks to that video. Jessica, what the hell have you done? You just make him stay YouTube instead of just. Not, you know, if I just, like, go back in time, you know, maybe the time twister, maybe I just, like, tell her, please don't make that goddamn video, and you're gonna get a convince, you're gonna have Robbie just stay at goddamn YouTube, because it'll lead to the, the day of reckoning, the fruit impact is coming, the point of the lies, earthquakes, tornadoes, volcanoes erupting, and even a freaking thunderstorm will cause the mass destruction, and the one way angel will will come out of nowhere and cause the full on end of the world if you make that video. <sighs> okay. Speaking of that, let's check. Let's just talk about his videos, you know, and you know, and uh, and some other stuff. <clears throat> so his stories, you know, the whole like uh, Halloween stuff. I'm just, it's just kind of a, uh, it rush, it's mediocre, it's garbage. Just, yeah, that's just what I didn't say, like, every, uh, you know, every Adventure Team community of music videos, they're all rush, trash, and garbage. That's what I'm going to say. <clears throat> because I want a damn good music video, you know. Just look at the FNAF uh, Source Milk Maker music videos, or even other indie games with good, mu good music from indie artists that we use for music videos. Using either, either like Source Filmmaker or, or just an, regular animation, and that's all anime music videos. Those are better than freaking Adventure Team Community's uh, music videos and such. And also his uh, those skits I talk about. Yeah, they're not that funny, you know. Like yeah. <coughs> okay. God damn. I just uh, need to like uh. Need some like a nice water and goddamn my anger is just controlling over me and I just need to like a need to like try to cool it down and then make it like a, a nice sandwich maybe just drink some water and just watch one of my YouTube videos maybe watch like a live stream of one of one of your game of uh, the games you actually appreciate or just want to just care about buying it or or just like a order a goddamn a buffalo wings with pe a pizza with buffalo wings maybe you should call your your parents, maybe you should call your friends, and maybe you should like uh comment on me and my videos and just praise me because I'm the, I'm the better, I'm more original, I have more original content than Ralphie and his friends. Ah, oh, god damn it! And that was all for Ralphie. Ralphie, if you see this, no, everyone, if you see this, please don't subscribe him because. He just caused so much actions that he was the biggest clown, you know. And the Venture Team community is not just a clown, they're there in the entire circus. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Seriously, I just made like a comment about it, like, and it's because everybody should freaking appreciate me. Because I'm the greatest roaster ever. The roost, the roast on this freaking clown. Ah. Oh. Seriously. I have some trouble just freaking talk angrily, and I just want you guys have a nice day, and I just hope you have be safe, you know, during this rough time, and please do not fall for this person if you subscribe to him, because there'll be lots of consequences if you just, if you subscribe to him, because, you know, there could have been consequences, and I just explained about the days, the day of reckoning, if, from Jessica Apisa, I mentioned Please, don't do this. Don't do this!
Anywho, have a nice day, guys, and bye-bye. Oh, by the way, I just pretty much, like, uh, realized that my, I just realized my, my hands are sweating from all that stress talking about that damn clown. And I just want a lot, I need to drink more water, I need to drink the water to just rehydrate it. Yeah, just hydration is good if you in the heated weather. That's all. So, bye-bye for now. Let's hope Corey will like this video. And now for something stupid. Oh my gosh! Wah! I crush you next time. Ah, I crush you next time.